Oh, let's let the uh, narrator the take it occurred away. Occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. No, just in case you didn't know the story. It was Which later revealed should that a terrible disaster you. had been caused oh, by the two anyway. A mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. Stars. Sorry. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Well, so this is a. Uh my first let's play video with my own uh, with my own commentary so bear with me I'm sure I'm gonna make a few cock ups here and there but overall hope you enjoy the experience I mean uh, I've been wanting to do these videos for a while now but you know, there's so many games to pick from so I thought what better to pick than some old classics hence Resident Evil 2 no. My attention is I want to go through, hopefully, the lot, well, of the old ones anyway. Maybe not say five or six. That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? at the time of uh, this game release. How ginger Leon actually was. All right, that's far enough. He obviously Don't dyed move. his hair later in the games. Don't move. Ginger zombie. No. <laughs> Ginger's wall, by the way. What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. That's my disclaimer. Well, it's certainly raw in Raccoon City. Huh. Wait, don't shoot! Get down! <gasps> we can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. I know we're uh, coming up now when, spoiler alert, there's a zombie sat in the back passenger seat and he goes flying through the windscreen. I think it's a similar scene in uh, Resident Evil 6 when Leon and Helena are escaping from the university and a zombie jumps on the car and then causes them to crash. Wondering if it's some kind of homage made by Capcom. Perhaps, maybe not. Here comes the crazy truck driver. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Oh! oh no. Look out. Stiff as a plank, he throws out a window. You okay? Still in one piece. <laughs> I love that music, man. Very reminiscent of uh, the old classic zombie flicks. I'll meet you there. Okay. They were parted by an unescapable destiny. 
This is just the beginning of a worst nightmare. Run, run, run. That route was mapped for many years of playing. But as much as I uh, remember from this game, there's a lot of things I also forgot, as you'll find out later in this video and with later videos for myself. Who are you? What are you doing here? Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your Wave fire. your arms. I'm a human! Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. So, until Leon What's actually spoke, he thought town? he was a zombie. Hold on. Rather advanced zombie, I must say. By the time I noticed something was your wrong, stupidity deserves your forthcoming fight. With zombies. Gun shop owner. No, no, what I'm doing. Well, other than standing still there, as uh, most of you probably know, that if you make it to the police station without picking up anything, you get the special special key, which uh, gives you access to a locker with two snazzy outfits, in which Leon Kennedy then goes all gangster hand with his gun and whatnot. Don't really know what that's all about, but. I mean, forgive me if I'm wrong. Was it Brad, the super zombie you've got to kill? Oh. Yeah, need don't get nowhere. Bastard. And using it, obviously, because I want to get a special key. Yeah, I'll get collared here. Do a bit of shit there. Why is he bite me? Guy's crazy. We need you then. I mean. Gotta go through the bus, and when you just get inside the cop shop, obviously, if you remember, if there's two zombies that don't appear in the gardens, it means you're gonna get the key. And I don't know how many times, as a child, I played this game to death, but uh, me and my friend back in the day, we used to play it that often, but I mean, what I would. 16, 17, 18, I can't remember, too many years ago. So I used to, at the time I didn't own a PlayStation 1, because we were paupers and it was only up until recently I could get a console on release. But anyway, yeah, I used to go with my friends, I used to play Resident mm. Evil 2. Same with Metal Gear, classic games. And what's up with his old man, my friend's old man used to go to bed about 6 o'clock. And we would literally, here we are, yep, no zombies, got the key. Oh yeah. Yeah, so he'd go to bed at 6 o'clock in the evening. And we would literally play it straight on through. So he'd get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and would still be sat there. And we would have completed the game about three or four times over during the course of that night. With the uh, first two scenarios, Leon and Claire, and then the scenario B. Going through with uh, no mixed herbs, no first aids, no saves. That was that was probably scary in the actual game itself. Thinking you could get right to the end and uh, croak it, which annoyingly did happen on the occasion. 
I mean, even though I'm trying to get it done, I'm not intending to slow a bit on here, but I'm not going for, necessarily going for a speed one here, so I'm not, I'm not going for my uh, a record break in time. I don't want to get through a game relatively quick, but at the same time, these videos are going to be about the enjoyment and reminiscing. Talk about reminiscing. Here comes a Will Smith a zombie. My friend Mal's favourite. <laughs> oh man. Don't know what those noises are about actually. Who, who you are must you? be Leon. Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. Bastards. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella, Umbrella. was behind everything. Ella, Ella. They Sorry. risked their lives to reveal the Pop truth. Can't help it. But no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Just Get him some first aid spray, will you, Leon? Rooms. Jeez. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But. He's Just gonna go. blast a cap in your ass if you don't move, Leon. Fine, but I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. Will Smith, don't kid around. I still love loading sequences of the doors. I know in this day and age, you know, it's all about quick load screens, which I know it's about with these games loading up the next area. But they also created a certain anticipation what's behind the next door and when you walk up the stairs and you get the footsteps. It used to add to the atmosphere of the game and the tension. Which you don't get as much now. But I have a lot of hope in uh, 8 break, which I know some of my friends have played that on the PC. And I believe it's coming out on the PS4 in February. And it will be included in the PlayStation Plus Instant Collection. Yes. So I can't wait to get scared shitless of that one. And then we have The Evil Within. From Shinji Mikami. Coming later in the year. Obviously the creator of Resident Evil. That looks fucking epic. Okay, Spider-Man across the window. Oh, the liquor scene. I remember me and my friends, fucking the excitement when we saw the details of the spit. Something so small, but so great back in the day. <gasps> Scared the shit out of us. Yeah, and I'll get cocky here trying to get that herb. Don't fuck about when there's a liquor about. This uh, red gem I'm baked to get now will be used later on in a 
one of the many simple puzzles in this game. And down in that corner somewhere should be some hidden ammo. Which anyone you know, playing the old classic Resi games, you know, ammo usually starts off in abundance. And as you progress, progress through the game, or at least during certain stages, your ammo becomes a lot more scarce. Which was a big criticism with Resi 5. As a uh, bother told me finished with that game, it's I mean you had unlimited ammo anyway, but fuck me, you had no need for limited ammo with all the weapons and that and all the shit you collect for that one. I love Resi 5, but it was way too arcadey for me. I mean I like Resi 6 as well, but Weren't too keen on the Jake sections, they're okay. Chris Redfield was obviously too action packed as well. The Leon missions were more true to a Resident Evil days of old. But even then, I think it probably got to be three quarters through the game, and even that, Leon's campaign then started to get a bit more action orientated. I mean, the beginning section beginning section when you're stuck in a university it's all quiet lightning outside pissing it down around literally no zombies that, to begin with which built up anticipation I mean that was probably the closest we got to getting a taste of Resi of old I mean, Re Resi Revelations is decent that's a bit more of Resi of old. I just hope when the new big console release comes out for Resi, we go back to its roots, go back to what made the, th the first two games great. Having no ammo, zombies, tough enemies, you don't have endless mates of fucking weapons and ammo, and it's scary. That's why I've got so much hopes upon uh, the evil within. And obviously I know from what people have said about it, 8 last, that's supposed to be shitty pants scary. Kill them later. <clears throat> and here is the pendant e corny thingy majig with a unicorn on it. Unicorn medal. Leon! Claire! It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. The characters in the early Resident Evil games do make a lot of odd and quite unnecessary hand gestures. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. <laughs> Let's split up, look for any survivors, Exhibit, eh? and get out of here. Right. One last yes. thing. Not your Here's head. a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. <sighs> Fuck yeah, take shotgun. to the stars team. Now I'm quite sure in this area if you're hitting that photo or behind the desk 50 times or something like that, you get a, a film for a photo of a disturbingly a young Rebecca Chambers from the original Resident Evil who I think in the game she was 16. So Whisker has a photo stashed away of a 16 year old girl. We assume 16 at the time. I mean, I did think about 
pressing X 50 times to get a photo but then as you can see then I couldn't be asked. <clears throat> Just drinking some cause light. Man out of this stuff. It's damn cold. Shotgun, ready for the liquor in a bit. But you know what? I ain't half got an itch in my back. I can't quite reach it. If only. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh cheers. Yep, yeah, lower, lower. That's it. Nice one. Appreciate it. Right, liquor. Have a shotgun to the face. Two shots of a shotgun. Fairly disappointing. Now we'll get the herb. Interesting that you use weed to regain health. There you go, and there's some ammo hidden away in the fallen police officer there. Who for some reason doesn't turn into a zombie. Right, let's do some inventory uh, management. Won't need those till later. I'd never read these, but. I did intend on uh, just skipping those files, but I can't help it. Gotta collect them. Even though, other than the backstory, I've read a billion times, they serve no real purpose to any bonuses or whatnot. Who hides a key in there? Tell you what, must be a fucking a piss tape for the caretakers and the cleaners of this place. Fucking trying to find keys to get in certain rooms to clean Officer Dibbler's desk. There we are. Here's some uh, shotgun ammo management here. In your face! <laughs> Come on, blow them. Clone zombies. Ah, that. Ooh, one stands. Let's uh, use regular ammo on him. Paper. Not Rizzler paper. Of course not. Obviously I'm assuming there. That zombie lay down there at the bottom corner of the screen. He is a committed fucker. He will lay there throughout the whole of a game on the off chance that his plan will work and he will bite your feet. That's all he wants to do. And he will stay there until you run past him. But I won't fall into your game. I won't. So his game won. He got my feet. Thank <laughs> you. 
2236. Never forget this code. But I know it's simple. Something gets me, I mean, more than anything from watching The Walking Dead. They say the zombies feel no pain. If that was the case in, you know, in Resident Evil, the zombies feel no pain because their nervous system or whatever is gone. Why do they groan when they take bullets and die for a second time? Food for thought. Nope, I think I'll stay in that. Now, obviously, when you mix her mix of herbs, whether it's all green or mix a green with a red, obviously, it makes them more powerful. But as I used there, just one because my health needed topping up. But what I find in Resident Evil is that often when you mix the herbs to make them stronger, you obviously naturally want to use them when you're running low on your health. So when perhaps your energy bar is turned orange or red. But when I do that, I normally find that's the case. That's normally the situations when you die. So now with this playthrough, I'm getting the habit of not leaving it so late because, as with back in the day, with old games and Resident Evil, there were no checkpoints. Obviously, with Resident Evil, you had to, not so much now, but back then, you had to collect the ink ribbons to save on the old type rotors. And if you, same as when, you know, when I used to play for hours on end, then my mates I used to 8 o'clock in the morning, we would. The amount of times we got to the end boss, didn't save it once, and you died, and you were fucking gutted, absolutely gutted. So I'm gonna know you when you can get up the S ranking. Part of it is no mixed herbs, no no first aids, and a certain number of low saves where we'd get through the game and we'd sometimes we'd, we would do it with no saves, so you get the top rank. But this playthrough. I want to try and keep my, say, my saves to a minimum, but at the same time, I don't want to overdo them, so I'm not really consciously thinking, right, let's get through the game without any saves, because if I die right towards the end, I'm going to be fucking pissed off. So I cautiously save throughout the game, basically when they're roughly on the hour, give or take. I must literally had one or two close shots in Raccoon City because I come from a, the same family branch line. I mean, are they zombies or are they inbred? Again, thought for thought. rooms even I know they are locked. You can't help but just double check just in case. Room, whether a one way mirror is, there is a cable for the shutters to stop zombies from coming through, and one of the chess piece puzzles for later in the game. And you also get a little surprise visitor, which I'm sure most of you know who that is, but oh wait, and even though I knew that certain visitor was coming, I still jumped. Yep. 
go back for it. Don't need inventory box. <coughs> He's got a lot, a lot of uh, hip movements so as uh, running this down. What a technique. Still got to go and get Brad yet, the super zombie, to get my key. But because he takes a bit more of ammo than the regular zombie, I'm gonna wait until I'm ready stacked up to take him on. I'll we'll be getting him soon. Don't you worry, Brad. Don't you worry. It's much needed ammo. Old as games, it's constant inventory management. You don't want to carry too little, and at the same time, you don't want to carry too much. As I find, I always in the air of sewer section, always used to forget the red valve handle. Every time. So I'm going to make sure this time round that I don't. As with a crank. Here we are, I'm gonna get Brad now. I think I was gonna go down those set of steps, but I think if I remember correctly, he's closer to those steps, so if I go around to these ones, you get a bit more distance. So he doesn't grab you so easily. So he takes a lot of ammo. And if he gets you, he fucks you up more. A normal zombie as well. To so make sure you've got a safe distance and you've got enough ammo. Ooh, run. There we go. Deaded. It's my uh, going to use that special key in my locker and get myself an outfit. Do I go for the leather jacket and turquoise cord trousers, or do I go for a vest? Hmm. Well, it is night time. It is winter. My name's not Danny Mentos, so I won't get a vest. I'll go for a leather jacket and turquoise cordy trousers. Yeah. King of fashion. First things first, I want to get that crank. And make a conscious effort to make sure I don't forget it later in the game when I need it. So it's a crank and the red hand. Red valve. Couldn't get my words out there. Right, somewhere across here some more files which I've got no intentions of reading. What's an ink? Ah, ink ribbon. Yeah. Right. Might be some files still in there since that's like a file room but can't be asked. Oh no. I'm not going for my special key yet. I lied. Sorry. <clears throat> Where am I? Ah, yeah. 
put those two at one. Even though it's actually uh, an Alton box in the room with the uh, locker to use special key. I remember most things as always. Some routes that I forget. Hence this. Shame Leon doesn't slip over at blood. What you can do with uh, riding and the seagull shit and Metal Gear 2. Jeez, man, the wall's getting them away. Alright, let's clear haste of some zombies. Step man. Always remember to not always carry some herbs, but don't carry too many, and always remember to keep a mini item box. Always stack up effectively for William Birkin boss battles. Please wait a minute because we don't want to see his digital crutch. Gangster gun. Gangster gun. Bruh, bruh. Leather jacket and cords. It's a pick of a bad bunch. In that room in the background with red light is where you process your films. So didn't bother Rebecca Chambers' picture behind Whisker's desk. But I do do one, I believe, a bit later on again, maybe in part two with William Birkin. Then there's another one in a puzzle room, I believe, where you got to light three lanterns. And I don't think I can be asked about one. I'll pick it up, but I don't be fine. Yep, I knew that was locked anyway. Still, I'll try. <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna die, bruh, bruh, please suffer. Uh, uh, no, you 
too. Remember correctly, there are a group of uh, zombies having a meat feast next door. So watch this for some shotgun bullet management. What you eating? I put a shotgun to her face. Yes, I just said for you. chest of drawers there you use another small key and you get the handgun attachments which basically gives you like a rapid fire I do pick it up later in the game but I never use it because it just swallows your bullets up but it looks better now this bit shit me up back in the day this happened. Really did build this police department on the cheap, didn't they? And there comes the most brain teasing, difficult puzzles known to the video game industry. Shit, can I remember? Can I remember? Yes, yes, I did. Fucking genius. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Run past him, for starters. Killed this one up here, as I do. What was that all about? And him, or oh, should have run past. We saved about ten or twelve bullets at least in this process here. Very amateurish. Let myself down. Ah, yes, always remember the emergency ladder. You can save a lot of time, especially when you're down at the bottom end. <laughs> Just run past him, don't shoot him. Oh, I wasted three bullets there. So truth be told, I could probably save like 15, 20 bullets there. It's been late in the game anyway. Liquors occupy that balcony. And when liquors occupy an area, zombies disappear. Relaxing music of a save room. When you know tranquility is your saviour. Chess piece. 
Why am I carrying the chess piece? unlock this door here much like the uh, emergency ladder in the main hall because this can save you a lot of time so there's also quite a few green herbs out here back in the day used to fucking terrify me as well. Gotta love to have the games back in the day. Rezzes, the original sword in hell. Oh, I remember when I played, uh, I think I bought the PlayStation magazine, and uh, there was a trailer of Soul in hell. We watched the trailer and me and my friend were gobsmacked. And then we had to wait a year till it was released. Day before was it? Day before the internet. That years before the internet, shall I say? Sorry, couldn't get my words out there. Back then, it wasn't so. You know, there wasn't as many sequels. Sequels were few and far between. I mean, you had them on Resident Evil. There was only one Silent Hill on the PlayStation, an original PlayStation. And games are far less franchise based. So when you did get that sequel, you know, you, you, you turned out to wait a good year or two, a couple of years no one before you get it. And my god, was it agonising waiting? It half was. But when he got the game, like one of, well, I should say my friend got his mitts and Silent Hill and we blitzed through that. Never known a more terrifying game on PlayStation and one of the most awesome soundtracks I've ever heard. Which I reckon, thinking about it now, never talking about it, I think in the near future I'll have to do uh, an original Sonic Hill 1 playthrough as well, I reckon. Yeah, that game did have some tough puzzles. Let's see if we can weave through here. Come on. Yes. And you two. Just. Oh no, there's nothing down there. I've got to check. Actually, turn around. <laughs> yes, I will get the valve, and I won't forget the valve later. Which I probably will. Right. You should not open this door. It's pointless and it's unnecessary. But I'll open it anyway. Fuck it. Here comes the dramatics. <laughs> run! Run! For you, that was a close escape. Right. Let's. Bob and weave through here. Uh, 
What if I speak in Wookiee? Oh, you bitch. Bastard. Why she bite me? Oh, use the valve here. Just put it before you. Again, access to the next puzzle room, and also some bullets in the crash helicopter as well. Videos getting ready to be close to the end now. In a bit, I waste to save. But, you know, I'm sure this extra save what I'll do in a few minutes will come and bot me in the backside when it comes to my ranking later in the game. But the time recording, I wasn't actually keeping track of the, uh, the timer. So my bad. Defense, it was getting late. And here's the wasted and pointless save, which will inevitably bite me in the ass when it comes to my ranking a bit later in the game. At the very end, should I say. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I'm going to have to save in a couple more minutes after I do a very simple puzzle. Yep, I stopped and pondered my stupid thoughts just then. Why Leon? Why? I blame Leon, not me. It was Leon, you bastard. <laughs> shotgun yet because well it must be on uh, Claire's scenario where the liquor comes jumping through the glass you know, in there I anticipate the attack but the attack don't happen what did I forget oh yeah the jewels Doom. Leon's wounded and he's carrying that shotgun. His arm done off stretch. <laughs> like a big fucking elongated grill arm. Made it a spandex. Shotgun bullets around here somewhere. Voila. <laughs> I mean, no fairness to this game as well, considering it was made in 1988. 
Time hasn't done it too bad, really. I've seen a lot worse games from it, ever. Piece to the chess uh, piece puzzle. Let's get to the inventory box, get my ink ribbon, save, and call it a day for part one. Right, I'll save up now. Hope you've enjoyed my video, and I'll catch you in part two. Goodbye.